Hello, I'm Julia Laughlin from the Oklahoma County Extension Office. And today I thought I'd show you how to make a garden, even if you don't have a space to have a garden. Since it's early April, it's time to start planting your vegetables. And if you don't have a place outside where you can make a garden, it doesn't mean you can't grow your own vegetables. This year might be the perfect year to do some container gardening. So I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to pot some things up that you can grow on your patio or on your back porch as long as they get enough sun. So that's one of the most important things. Wherever you're gonna put this container, you wanna have at least six hours of sunlight. If you get less than that, it doesn't mean the plants won't grow, but you might not get real good production. So you can experiment if you're not sure if you're getting six hours of sun or not in that particular spot, but try to find a nice sunny spot to do your container garden in. Next, you need to find a container. If we're gonna do a large, a large plant like a tomato or a cucumber, you could do eggplants, peppers in a container, you want a pretty good sized pot. This is a smart pot. It's a breathable container and it's the ideal pot. You can buy these at garden centers and, and in different stores. Um, they work great for container gardening because they the pots actually breathe and let a lot of oxygen in. The second thing is you're going to need a real high quality potting soil. You can use almost any potting soil as long as you use a fertilizer, but a high quality potting soil will already have some fertilizer in it. You can buy a regular one or an organic one. Some other ideas for containers, if you don't have a smart pot or want to buy a smart pot, is just a really big, what we call maybe a five gallon nursery container. And that would do a pepper, maybe an eggplant. Or you could take a, some bucket and recycle it. But on these, you need to punch holes in the bottom of them. If you use something that's got a solid bottom, it will um, hold water and it can cause the plant to rot. So if you want to recycle a bucket, just put some holes in it. Take a nail, hammer it, and put holes in the bottom of it so the water will drain it. So once you get your container full of your potting soil, and I just filled this up, I rolled the edges down. It makes it stand up a little bit straighter on this smart pot. Then you want to find get some healthy looking transplants. This is a tomato transplant. Um, as you go to plant that plant, if it's got tangled roots, kind of pull them out. And then on tomatoes only, not on any of the other transplants, not peppers, not eggplants, not cucumbers, squash, okra, but on tomatoes only, you can actually plant them a little bit deeper than they're in the container. Everything else you want to plant at the exact height that it was growing in the container, but tomatoes you can go a little bit deeper. And then the next thing we want to do is fertilize. You can use any fertilizer you want. I've got a nice organic fertilizer here that I bought, and I'm going to put a, a what recommended tablespoons amount for the tomato on there. And I'm actually going to immediately water in once I get it planted and make sure it's saturated. saturated once you get the plant in there and then you can even add a little bit of mulch on top to hold the moisture in this is straw you could use compost or another mulch and that will hold the moisture in when you water then we want to place it in the sun make sure we get as close to six hours of sun a day for most vegetables and then you want to keep it watered regularly at first that won't be very often but later in the summer it could be as often as every other day so good luck have fun and enjoy your container garden